it is Cracktober and I am going to be making chili. Dirty dishes, peaceful wishes, blissful messes tangled up in joy. It's Rachel from Day Day Joys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am participating in the Cracktober extravaganza. So every day for the month of October, there is gonna be a recipe shared on YouTube where you can follow along and see how to make an awesome crock pot, slow cooker, instapot, pressure cooker type of meal. You're gonna get lots of different ideas from meals, soups, stews, to sweets, all of the great stuff that you can just dump in there and go. Make sure you check out all the links to all the channels below. Yesterday, Holler Homestead shared, and today I am going to share. Like I said, I'm sharing this easy peasy, lemon squeezy chili. I like to make this several times of the year, especially in the fall. It's fall, y'all, and that is my favorite season. What is your favorite season? Let me know down below. This chili is perfect for game day, for family gatherings. Anytime you're gonna have people over or just your family. We have a large family. We have four kids. We live in a log home, as you can probably kind of see by the stuff in the background. And uh, so we just love this cozy type of meal. I like to try to keep it easy uh, feeding this family every day. I, whenever there is a question on Facebook and some of the groups like, what are you having for dinner? And I had to hashtag, we have to make dinner again. Sometimes that's how I feel as a busy mom. So I hope if you are a busy mom, a large family, just need something easy that can make several meals if your family is smaller or if your family is larger, it probably will last about two meals. Uh, this is the crock pot meal for you. All right, I am at my spice cabinet opening it up here. We used to have it locked here, but now our kids are a bit older. We don't need to use that lock anymore. Very simple ingredients, very clean eating, and I'm gonna get all this stuff and get it on over there so we can get to crocking. Like I said, this is a large batch of chili. I have five cans of beans here. You can use whatever kind you want. In the description box, I will also leave a recipe for half the size in case you wanted to have a smaller batch of chili. Next is our tomato section. I have rotel, salsa, and tomato sauce. And then we have some beef broth and spices. I usually use the Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix but this time I'm going to try the taco seasoning that I got from Costco a while back. And then also a no salt seasoning like Mrs. Dash. I have chili powder, paprika, seasoning salt, and onion powder, and garlic powder. Veggies are next. I have carrots, celery, peppers, and onion. If you want to be super easy, you can use frozen chopped onions and frozen bell peppers. I do this often, but this time I am going to chop it up for this recipe. I like to cut the, all the outsides off and leave the core in the middle and then chop up and dice up the bell peppers. And then also I usually have a little bit left over to keep for snacks for later for the kids. So once I am done chopping up all of the bell peppers, I'm just gonna add it in to my colander and just keep adding all the vegetables there and add them in to saute them a little bit later. For the celery, I cut off both of the ends and I also take the knife and kind of strip off the celery hair, whatever it's called, I don't really know. And then I ch cut them down the middle and chop them up so they are fine little diced pieces and then the leftovers there we go for the kids to have snack later then I have these baby carrots here and I cut them in half and then cut them and dice them up I like to add carrots just as a healthy option and to make the chili hearty and good last up is a white onion so I'm just peeling the outside off and I cut one end off and left the other end and I am just cutting it down to about that end and I'm going to turn it the other way and cut it that way so then I am dicing this up before I cut it all up and dice at the end. So it's really easy. I don't know where I saw this. You can see that that side's there and you just cut um, and dice it up before you chop it all off. Then you chop it all off and it's really easy that way. So my kids accidentally dropped my lid to my crock pot and it shattered everywhere. So I can't use that for this video and I'm gonna be ordering one hopefully soon. 
So I'm gonna use the slow cooker option on my Instant Pot. If I was using my crock pot, I would saute all of the vegetables and cook the ground beef in a pan first. But since the Instant Pot has a saute uh, method on it, I am going to use that to cook up the meat and then saute up the vegetables so they are soft. So I'm just adding a little bit of grapeseed oil because my meat is extra lean. If you have a higher fat count in your meat, then feel free to skip the oil. So I'm just gonna saute up the meat until it is browned. I absolutely love using a potato masher to ground up my meat. I do it like this all the time. Once the meat is about three-fourths cooked, I go ahead and add in our diced vegetables, our carrots, onions, celery, and peppers, and get them cooked till they are softened. And while those are cooking in there, I am going to be opening up all of our cans. And I make sure I stir this plenty of times. And like I said, if I wasn't using the Instant Pot, only for cooking it all, I would cook it in a pan and then add it into the crock. So since I'm doing it like this, I kind of just, it's just a one pot meal type of thing. So I have every, the meat and the vegetables cooked and sauteed and I'm just adding in all of our beans and our diced tomatoes, which is the Rotel, and our salsa and our tomato sauce. Now the beef broth is to your preference and how thick or thin you like the chili, but I usually add in about half of a container and I leave it there all day in case I need to add in more beef broth later. Next up, I add in all of our spices, our onion powder, our garlic powder, paprika, seasoning salt, our no salt seasoning, that's like the Mrs. Dash and then you can also add salt and pepper to taste. I usually like to do that at the very end and see if I actually even need it. And then I give it a nice big stir and just the aroma is smelling delicious all wet ready. I can't wait until it cooks for several hours and see how it tastes. If you're using a crock pot, you can just put your lid on and cook on high for about four to six hours, or if you wanna do low, six to eight hours. And for the Instant Pot, you use the slow cooker option and you want to make sure it's on high for four hours. While our crock pot is cooking away, well, instant pot with the crock pot method, uh, I will go ahead and tell you a little bit more about all this Crocktober awesomeness. There is a Facebook page with the Crocktober extravaganza where there's gonna be a lot of tips shared every day, live videos, and giveaways. So you wanna make sure that you join that group. The link will be below so you can check it out. Tomorrow, it is Jen Chaplin. I am a new to her channel, thanks to this collab, and and she is a working mom who shares lots of recipes and dinner ideas and grocery hauls. And she is gonna be making chicken and dumplings in the crock pot tomorrow. So you definitely wanna check that out and be on the lookout for all the videos to come and the ones that have already came this month of October. This Crocktober extravaganza was started by Amanda from The Beals and Lisa from Sutton Days. Their channels will be listed below in case you wanna check them out. They share all about frugal living, healthy eating, lots of different types of food and recipe, grocery haul type of things. Well, it's been about four hours, so it's time to get all of our toppings ready. So I am first starting with our green onions. And your tip for me for Cracktober is using your scissors to cut your green onions and other types of things that you can cut, any other kind of meat, like if you're doing chicken in the crock pot, chicken strips, you can cut them. Anyways, back to the green onions, I cut both ends the um, stem and the other side and I use my scissors like you can see it's just super easy that way. Since this chili is such a large portion our family will have it for leftovers another day so I always save some and put it in the fridge to have later. 
One of my favorite things is to have avocado on chili. So if you've never tried that, definitely try it out. So here are all our toppings. I have the diced up avocado, chopped olives, a mixture of cheese. We have jalapeno, Kobe Jack and cheddar here. We also have guacamole, our green onions, also known as chives, sour cream, and some delicious cornbread. So now our chili is about ready. It's been cooking, like I said, for about four hours and the aroma is just smelling delicious. I wish there was smell of vision so you could smell it here. It just smells absolutely delicious. Now it's time to serve it up. So I just get some bowls and scoop up the chili and everybody puts in whatever toppings that they like. And this is how I like mine, a little bit of everything. Super, super delicious and tasty, cozy for a, for a perfect fall for October day. about you but fall is my favorite season it's fall y'all and it's perfect here in Tennessee where all the leaves are starting to change and it's chilly actually like well the weather here in Tennessee is kind of crazy um, I call it bipolar red weather but today it was a really nice day so a perfect day to make chili cozy with cornbread or corn chips or saltines whatever is your fancy to put on top with some sour cream, chives, cheese, avocado, whatever you like to put on your chili. Um, well, actually some people like to put their chili on top of noodles, but I'm not gonna have that here today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how to make this easy peasy lemon squeezy chili, and I hope it will become a family favorite for your family. Like I said, I am a homeschool mom, mom life lifestyle videos. If you like that type of thing, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and join me here as I share things every week. And go ahead and like this video and the other videos that are coming up and that have already went on in Croctober extravaganza. I hope that you have a blessed day. Happy fall, y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.